YouTube, what's going on? So we're back at this one. Um, you see my multimeter here. I had to do a continuity test to figure out what wire goes where because the wiring harness was a mess. And uh, I already went ahead and put the front, the back, or the back of the fairing back on for the radio. I'm gonna be putting on the wiring harness uh i have the gauges done we're going to transfer all of the gauges over to this new fairing that came back from paint and uh also i went ahead and changed the faces it was nice <clears throat> so what I did here was we changed the old faces, the RPMs, and put the new ones on there. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just uh, you got to be careful with taking that needle out. Don't want to bend anything there. Uh, taking this rim, you're going to have to kind of pry it open all the way. You're going to go around the rim on the back side. Pry, pry it open as much as you can and then pull it out. Then you access the needle and then pull out the needle nice and smooth and uh, just change the face plate. So this face plate right here is double. It just has a like a sticky adhesive. You can see it already sticking in my finger. <clears throat> so what I did was I kind of just uh, peeled it off, off a little bit. I went around with the tool and then uh, with the new one. Um, I added a little bit of glue on it so you can so that way it can stay because this one only comes with some plastic film. It's just to protect it, but it's not necessarily it's not a there's no like a tape on it or anything like that. So I just added a little bit of glue to basically mimic the same tack tackiness of that and um, and there it is. It's on it's on there. It looks nice, nice and clean. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything together. Start transferring everything over to the new fairing. You can see where we're at. Basically, I haven't done anything since. Uh, we were waiting on the fairings and stuff like that. I didn't wanna pull the uh, rear fender off up until I got the new fender. <clears throat> so we'll try to get as much done today as possible. Uh -huh. And then that's about it. Let's continue. All right. So I went ahead and, uh, you know, it's a long, it was going to be a long video and I didn't want to keep doing um, time lapse. So I just went ahead and kind of got started on doing the whole wiring. Um, I still need a few more things like the speaker wire and uh, some of the wires here for the stereo. Um, one more speaker pod. But <clears throat> the front or the back of the fairing is done, almost done. Uh, I had to order a new light because that one is missing. And bars are on, but they're not complete just yet because they still need to... Uh, figure out which one is their stereo so I can have the buttons working. So I got to do another continuity test for that. <clears throat> and I will go ahead and continue with the rear. We're going to put the rear um, rear fender. It's going to be that CVO style rear fender. It's already back from paint. So I can get started with that. And instead of doing a time-lapse video for this I'm just gonna cut straight to it so from here you're gonna see that turn into to that and now that the rear fender is on it looks way cleaner nice wiring harness I need to change the the coupler the coupler is different so i'm gonna change I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and change that but it fits up real nice i have some paint residue on there i'm gonna 
try to take some of that off um, without scratching up the paint since it's fresh paint. And yep, that's how it's looking so far. I'm gonna clean it. Oh, I did clean up a little bit here and there. It was really dirty. I clean as I go. It was really, really dirty. So I, I'm gonna continue cleaning once I uh, start putting everything together. There is another rack that's gonna go here and uh, it's gonna look nice. I'm gonna call it a night for tonight, for today. This is where we stand. It's coming along. Radio's pretty much installed already, so we'll continue. Peace.